Hey everybody, I just wanted you to know that Keepa has made some big changes. Now, if you don't know what Keepa is, Keepa is a service that tracks almost every single item on Amazon when it comes to their price history, their sales rank history, buy box history, so much information about the past of those Amazon sales items that you can use to predict the sales of the future on Amazon. So Keep has made some really big updates to their process and I want to tell you about those in this video. I'm going to show you on my screen what it looks like and what you can expect moving forward. There's updates to uh, tracking sales rank, to tracking sub sales rank, uh, to looking at sales rank percentages, uh, tons more information about buy box information um, and some changes when it comes to tracking Amazon, uh, being in stock, out of stock and Amazon price changes. Um, and more. I will show you right now. We're going to go to my computer. I'll break down what it looks like and how you can use it in your Amazon FBA business. All right, here we are, Amazon.com. I've got a couple different tabs open that we're going to look at. Some of these new changes that Keepa has just released, and I'll walk you through what they look like and what the transition is going to be. Now, I like to use different Chrome extensions to help improve uh, save some time. The main one that we're going to be looking at today is the Keepa extension, which puts a Keepa graph right on the Amazon product page. Uh, to get that, you can go to fulltimefba.com forward slash Keepa extension, and you can download that extension. Just know that with Keepa, there's a paid and a free version, and so some of the information you might not be able to see on your own screen if you just have the free version of Keepa. If you want the paid version, fulltimefba.com forward slash Keepa to sign up for the paid version, which I highly recommend because I use this every day, hours a day sometimes, when I'm sourcing. So let's look at some of the big changes of the new Keepa graph. Now, you'll see here we've got the sales rank. Uh, changing over time. We're looking at the last three months of time. Uh, we've got the new price changing. And in the past, Keepa would show you these little triangles to signify what the buy box price is. If you have your cursor over it, you can see, okay, the buy box was $21.99 by a third-party FBA seller over here. Over here, the buy box was $25.99. But you always kind of wondered what was going on in between you know, these two times uh, where there's breaks. Why couldn't I just get a line for the buy box? Well, now you can. Keepa has eliminated these little diamonds, telling what was going on in the past, and has added a new line. So let's see what that line looks like. I'm gonna turn off sales rank, turn off used price, turn off new price, turn off Amazon. So now all we see is the buy box. So this is what it looked like in the past with the different prices. The new, it's a pink line that will show you the buy box price and it will tell you as you scroll what the buy box price, you know, if it's by a third party or Amazon, and you can see the, how it has changed. So pretty soon as time passes, these little diamonds will, you know, fade off of the three month time period. Uh, and you might be able to see them, you know, as you look in longer time periods, but pretty soon the buy box line will look like this. Um, here's a little pro tip. If you want to zoom in on a keep a graph at any point, you can just put your cursor on there, uh, scroll over while you're holding down the, the button on your mouse or whatever, and then you can zoom in and see. And so this will show you buy box times and how it's changed. Um, and, you know, every time it's changed to a different price, it will show you over time. Um, and again, this is just changed. This is a new update. And so this is brand new. Uh, so it'll still keep the information for the past, but pretty soon moving forward, you will just see a pink line for the buy box price. A lot of different information too when it comes to the buy box. If you click on the data tab, um, there's now an opportunity to see the buy box statistics, um, which sellers have won certain percentages, what the average price was in the buy box, the number of items they had in stock at the time, all that information that you can see um, from the buy box statistics on, because right now this buy box is rotating between these three sellers. So you can get that information just from the data tab. You go back to price history and you can see um, all this information that you can, you know, just make those clicks. Another thing with the buy box, if you hover over the the little dot here, uh, you can see some lines at the top. Um, you see red lines and blue lines in the past where they had the diamonds. Um, that shows you when the buy box changed to somebody else. But now, once the buy box is now a solid pink line, um, you'll see the, a solid red line at the top of the screen there showing you um, you know, that the, the buy box um, 
the, the new buy box information. So there's that to look at and to dissect. And again, as we learn more, we will update videos and show you more on how you can uh, you know, take advantage of these new features. Uh, let's take a look at this one. This is one where Amazon is in stock. And again, you can see that, you know, there's a bunch of different information. So we can uh, remove different information and see, again, where the buy box was in the, shown in the past and how the buy box is showing now. Again, we can zoom in and we can see how the buy box has changed over time. And of course, the more time that we experience these items, the more, um, you know, information that we will get to be able to make the best decision possible with reselling an item and, um, you know, making good money off of it. Because 80%, over 80% of the sales on Amazon come from the buy box. So that's a huge information. And the buy box details is only available for the paid Keepa um, subscription. So be sure you get it, that, fulltimefba.com forward slash Keepa. So let's look at some more information that is new. So this is about sales rank. So I'm going to totally remove the prices and we're just going to look at sales rank. Now you can see that sales rank has gone up and down for a while. Um, and then right here, it shot down the, like the main sales rank for the main product category disappeared. And you will see this on a lot of different Keepa graphs. This is something that some people think is a glitch that will re return. Some people think this is how it's going to be moving forward. This is actually not a Keepa change. This is an Amazon change. Um, Amazon is changing the information that it's giving Keepa, that it's giving all uh, different programs that track sales rank. And you can see that the main sales rank category is no longer being able to be tracked. And so since that number is not available to be tracked, Keepa is going to check out the sub sales rank uh, subcategory. Uh, and so you can see right here that the sub sales rank is, is being tracked for the subcategory. Well, how do we know what the subcategory is? Well, we can look over here and we can see that Xbox One headsets is where we are tracking right now. And they'll even give you some more sub sales rank information over here. Um, and this is saying that it's in the top 1% of the category, um, and that's just rounding to the nearest percentage. It's not going to give you a, a decimal point. It's just going to round to the nearest percentage that a certain sales rank is in. And again, that's what uh, Amazon's doing and what Keepa is able to show you. So uh, a lot of times you can see when you hover over the sales rank dot, you know, the little green circle here in the line, uh, then you will see a little green line at the very top of the screen showing you when the sales rank transitioned from one category to its sub category. And so that gives you a little bit of clarity where you might think, oh my gosh, all of a sudden this thing is selling really, really well and it has a super low sales rank. No, no, it's just because the sales rank changed from the main category to a sub category. So it's good to know and to, to be able to see. Um, and again, as we start turning things back on again, uh, you can see again how the buy box was being shown and now how the buy box is being shown right now so that you can have that information. All right, let's see what other changes are going on. Here is a time where, again, we had the sales rank change and there's a line right there showing you if you hover over this line where it changes, you can see at the bottom of the screen what exact subcategory is being shown. Tools and improvement is the main category, the subcategory, kitchen and bath fixtures, and this is ranked number 16. Um, well, right now, back it was ranked number 14 on March 7th, um, and you can you know follow along and see um, it changed again for, for a quick second to pitcher and water filters, but then it um, so that's where it is right, right now to pitcher and water filter. So this actually changed which subcategory it sh was showing twice from the main category here until again, once you line your line up with this green line, it's showing you where it changed to the subcategory and then it changed to a different subcategory here and it'll give you all the information in that little box at the bottom. So just some good information to know so that you are making sure you're making the right decisions. Again, this could be something that's a glitch or something that is temporary. Amazon in the past has had temporary changes uh, a lot. Sometimes the book category sales ranks would just disappear completely and then they would be back about two weeks later. And electronics category used to not track sales rank and now they do. So they make changes, we can adjust. 
the sky is not falling. Uh, we can adjust to these changes. Let's keep going with some other things that are new. Okay, here's something. What happens if the buy box goes in and out of uh, you know suppression uh, or being shown? Sometimes there's a suppressed buy box, which means there's no buy box. Other times there is an item that is in the buy box. So what does it look like on the graph if there is a buy box and sometimes not? Well, this is what it looks like. Again, in, in let's take a look at the last three months. So the last three months, this was the buy box time, but since we don't have the little triangles anymore, let's zoom in on this time period. And we can see there's the buy box here, and then, oh, there was no buy box, it was suppressed. Well, then the buy box came back, oh, and it was suppressed. The buy box came back, suppressed. Buy box came back, and it was suppressed. Here for a little bit, suppressed, there again. So there's a lot of different reasons why the buy box might be suppressed. Sometimes it might be because there's no FBA seller and it's just merchant fulfilled sellers. Other times it might be because the buy box price might be too high. But since this buy box price is kind of consistent with how it was in the past, I would say that it was because uh, there were no FBA sellers on this particular item. I mean, once it became FBA, it earned the buy box. So. That is another good thing for you to know and see if you can you know, use that information to figure out. Let's keep going. More things that we can learn. All right, this next uh, information and change is very important for you to know because it, it deals with Amazon going in and out of stock and it deals with Amazon's prices. Now, we can see here that, you know, in the past, there's all the buy box prices, Amazon being in and out of stock. Um, and we were told before, that whenever we see a white area, that means Amazon's out of stock. And if we see a shaded area, that means Amazon is in stock. And that's good information to have. But let's kind of zoom in on this little part right here and see if we can see what some of the new changes are. So again, turn the, off the prices um, here and we're just looking at the buy box. So we can see that the buy box um, you know, goes in and out of suppression so let's add Amazon to this party here. So we can see that you know Amazon's in stock and has the buy box here. Amazon's in stock and has the buy box here. Amazon's not having the buy box right there. Amazon's back in stock. So there are some good changes with the latest updates from Keepa because of how Amazon delivers their information to third party programs like Keepa that track sales rank history and pricing history. Uh, there are a few little uh, a speed bumps that are going to come along the way that we just need to adjust our perspective and adjust our expectations. One of those is in regards to Amazon price and Amazon being in and out of stock. Uh, one of the downsides of Keepa being able to consistently track buy box price over time with the pink line, and I'm going to read this directly from the Keepa website. One downside is that we can no longer reliably access the current Amazon price if Amazon does not hold the buy box. This means that a gap in the Amazon price history can henceforth mean two things. Amazon was out of stock, that's what we're already used to, and, or Amazon did not own the buy box. So that is a big piece of information. It either means Amazon is out of stock or Amazon did not own the buy box. But for most purposes, we would compete with Amazon if they're sharing the buy box. So either Amazon is out of stock here or they're sharing the buy box. And we can see here that the buy box is being held for $14.99 by a third party seller. So it could mean they're out of stock or it could mean that they're sharing the buy box. Both are great opportunities to compete against Amazon. Now, if you see you know, this right here, Amazon is not sharing the buy box and Amazon is in stock. So we know that. So it could be here, you know, there's Amazon is in stock, but but they're, they're sharing the buy box. Uh, they might be you know, going in and out of stock themselves. Um, a good way to know about that is to check the sales rank of that particular item. Um, if it's a really low sales rank, then you can see uh, the sales rank is ranked, you know, 8,000 in toys. So that is, you know, a really fast seller. So that is an item that could be going in and out of stock. Um, one of the ways that you can see if Amazon is also sharing the buy box, let's turn the new prices on. So we can see here, that this is the lowest new third party price. And it's it's up here, and then it goes back down to $14.99 because Amazon is in stock. Uh, this is a time I really do think Amazon is going in and out of stock because when Amazon goes out of stock, the new prices shoot up. And when new prices, new third party sellers prices shoot up, 
Um, that's only one reason because Amazon is out of stock. But right here, Amazon is back in stock, but there's a third party seller trying to sell it at $14.99, if that makes sense. So again, these are brand new changes. These are changes that we're still getting used to. Uh, I'll probably do another video in the future after we have more time because it's only been about a week since these changes have been um, active and uh, Keepa just announced it yesterday that these changes are even going on. So now I get a little clarity on what's been going on with some of the changes when it comes to uh, Amazon with the information that they share with third-party sellers and how Keepa is responding to help you make better sourcing decisions uh, using a Keepa graph. There are other changes that are going on. Um, like one of the other changes is list price. Um, is is list list price will only be shown um, if it's actually being shown on the sales page. So uh, Keepa will list track list price if it's being shown on the sales page. If it's not being shown on the sales page, Keepa will not be tracking list price. So that's one change. It's not a big deal, um, but just good enough for you to know. So hopefully that's been helpful for you. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer as many as I can. And again, we'll do another video soon on how to uh, move forward with these changes if they stick or if they revert back. So be looking for that. So that's the latest on Keepa and the changes. So that's a summary of what Keepa looks like now and what it's going to look like in the future. Um, now this is time sensitive information. I'm recording this in the middle of March of 2020. Um, and whenever you're watching this, it might be looking different. So do your own due diligence to make sure that these changes are still in place. Um, you can always check it out on the Keepa website. If you go to fulltimefba.com forward slash Keepa, uh, you can sign up to use Keepa. Now, some of this information that I'm giving you is only available to the paid subscribers. They do have a free program, but that free program is limited. Uh, but fulltimefba.com forward slash Keepa is where you can learn more about how to sign up for Keepa, both the free version and the paid version to see which one is right for you. And if you are looking for a course to show you everything there is to know about Keepa, even stuff you would never even imagine you could know to, in to increase your sales, increase your profits, go to fulltimefba.com forward slash Keepa course. It is a video course that is going to walk you through everything that I know about Keepa, um, which will help increase your sales. Go check that out, fulltimefba.com forward slash Keepa course. Read through the testimonials of people who've this course revolutionized their Amazon business. It could do the same for you. So check that out. Well, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching this video. Uh, if you want to leave a question or a comment, you can do that below. Like this video, let me know what you think. And uh, as always, go to the blog, fulltimefba.com, to make sure you don't miss out on anything about turning part-time hours into a full-time income with Amazon. Well, have a great day, everybody. God bless. Bye.